also we are making ed you helping me we are making vegetable and almond tagine i'm not very good at doing recipes am i ed i don't like following the rules i'm not very good at following the rules am i i kind of freestyle it a bit so what are we doing first uh let's put the spices in so the ingredients we've got we have got some chopped aubergine some peppers some sweet potato and butternut squash some lentils some tomatoes stock cube in the cupboard some spices which is turmeric cumin garlic cinnamon and ginger um ground almonds that we don't need that to the end and a stock cube we've got some frozen onions so we're going to fry that with the spices yeah? You're not like the noise that makes. It looks like she's super close, but she's like a metre and a half away. You're not like the noise that makes. So, we're frying those up. We're going to add the vegetables. Now, this recipe is based off of a baby led kitchen oh, recipe. But I hate following recipes, so I just kind of freestyle it. Add some more turmeric as well to even it. Okay, you not like that noise? Whee! I think I need a bigger pan. I've never added lentils to this recipe before, so I don't know how it's going to work out. I normally have beans because in the recipe it says use beans, but I don't have any, and I've got lots of black lentils. I thought we we'll do that. So I'm going to add the lentils. And give it a stir and then add a crap ton of boiling water. Oh, that's the stock cube going in. So that's a low salt vegetable stock cube. Because obviously babies can't have much salt. I'm going to put in some passata. That's the passata and then pour all the water. Oh, easy, these noises. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need some chopped tomato squish. Some more water. And then some chopped tomatoes. Oh. It's one that I have to open, which is annoying. That's not very flattering, who is it? Kind of a bit splattering. We will leave it to oh, cook for about probably about an hour but I have to keep coming back and topping up with more water so at the moment it kind of looks like this it doesn't kind of look like this it does look like this and it smells good we're going to bring that to the boil and then oh thank you leave it to simmer and just keep topping up water and as I said I think it will be about an hour I think I don't know I don't think I've ever made a batch that's this big before. We'll see how it goes. It's looking, so I don't need to add any more water yet, but I should do soon. It's probably got another half an hour. Now, the good thing about this is it looks just like a tomato -y casserole -y stew thing. The thing that transforms it is the ground almonds, and I'll show you later when I put them in, but yeah. It's been cooking for like 50 minutes. It's done, I think. So I'm going to add the almonds. So the ground almonds. And you just add it and stir it in and you'll see what happens. It kind of thickens it up a bit and gives it like crumbly bits. So I'm going to need some more because this is a lot. And because the almonds are kind of sweet, it gives it a bit of sweetness, which goes well with the... Um, cinnamon. If I had some dried apricots, I would have added them, but I don't. Or dates, and I don't have either of them. So you can see it's thickening up. I've used almost a whole packet of that because it was an open packet, so that's like 150 grams. Yeah, and this will make hundreds of meals. Look at that. 
And the good news is for babies, it's mushy, so they can eat it when they're like first weaning. Or, uh, you know what, it might need some more almonds. Ugh, hold that thought. Mm, 80 grams of ground almonds in there, and it will thicken as it cools as well. Um, so you can have it with couscous or rice or pasta. Sometimes I blend it for like a pasta sauce, really, because she's fussy. It is much later in the afternoon now. It is, or much later in the day. It's three o'clock or maybe half past three. Uh, we've just got back from popping and dropping the cards around that we made yesterday. We dropped them into, uh, dropped them through like post. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the letter boxes of the people they were for. So that was John and Naya. Um, and we left Naya's birthday present outside her front door as well. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video for today. I'm going to start preparing the dinner shortly. I don't know what to give Edie with the tagine because, she, you know, couscous or rice would be good. She doesn't like rice. Um, I'm probably going to do pasta because I know she'll eat it then. So I'm going to do orzo pasta because that's kind of like rice. Um, so, yeah. Fingers crossed she eats it. She's been... Sorry. Uh, I can't remember what I was saying. Yeah. So Edie's been really, really fussy with her food for ages. Like, she's not a fan of wet foods. Um, like, by wet foods, I mean, like, she'll have spaghetti bolognese. But, like, if I were to give her just a bowl of the bolognese sauce, she wouldn't eat it. Like, risotto. She doesn't like that sort of thing. Um, so the tagine on its own, she wouldn't eat. But if it was in pasta, like, if it was as a pasta sauce, she would. So I'm hoping she eats it. She actually ate something wet for the first time a few days ago and I was amazed. It was like a lentil dal thing. <laughs> She's found some snacks in my bag. That's a bit cheeky. Can you wave? Can you wave? Can you blow kiss? No. Doesn't perform on demand. Um, yeah, so we will see you another day, maybe tomorrow, maybe not. Um, when the one thing that I uh, realised when we went out was like the fresh air was just like, oh, that's nice. Because since last week, because Edie had a chest infection last week, we've not really, we've only been out to like get medicine or pop to the shop to get food and stuff. We've not no fresh air and it was like oh wow this is nice so yeah i think we need to hey dear you've dropped all your crispies everywhere so i think we need to go get some fresh air at some point so i'll see you again